So for this problem, to find the center and the radius of the circle from this given equation, and these are the steps in solving this problem. So first, we need to group all x and all y's. So for x, so we have x squared minus 10x then plus 4y. So we have y squared plus 6y then equals. So we need to transpose this constant to the other side. So this becomes negative 5. Then we can do now completing the square. So in completing the square for x, so just take this number, so ignore the sign. So we have 10, then divide this number by 2 and take the square. So we have 10 divided by 2, this is 5, and 5 to the power 2, so we have 25. Then for y, so again, take this number, then divide this number by 2, and take the square. So we have 6 divided by 2, so this is 3, and 3 to the power 2, so we have 9. Then we need to add these two numbers to this equation. So we have x squared minus 10x then plus 4x, so plus 25, 4x, then 4y. So we have y squared plus 6y then plus 4y, so plus 9. 4y then equals so we have this negative 5 so bring down negative 5 then take note that the number we added on the left side must also be added on the right side since we add 25 for x so this is also plus 25 then we add 9 for y, so we also need to add 9 on the right side. Then this time, we can apply now the quadratic factoring. So for x, so factors for x squared, so this is x times x. Then since the middle term is negative, so this is minus then for 25, since 25 is 5 to the power 2, so this is 5, then quantity to the power 2, then plus 4y, since this is y squared, so we have y. Then since the middle term is positive, so this is plus then for 9, since 9 is equal to 3 to the power 2, so we have 3, then quantity, to the power 2, then equals, so we need to simplify this right side. So this is negative 5 plus 25, so we have 20 or positive 20, and positive 20 plus 9. And that's positive 29. So we have now our standard equation. Then from the standard equation, so we can find now the center, that's H and K. And the radius, that's R. So from this standard equation, so this is H. Then we have K. And this is R squared. So to find now the center, so we have H and K. So for H, since this is negative, so therefore H is positive 5, so the opposite sign. Then for K, since this is positive, so therefore K is negative 3, so the center is 5 and negative 3. 
then to find the radius, so for the radius, we need to equate this to, so we have r squared equals 29, and then to solve for the radius, so just take the square root, cancel, so we have r equals square root of 29. So these are now the center and the radius of this circle.